Okay, this is my review of the little uh, giant uh, beehive. Uh, what I did was I went out and got another complete beehive kit. It's a complete single hive. Uh, what it comes with is it'll come with this base, uh, the screen base. This base is for measuring when you're doing mic checks or in the winter time. It comes with a little doorway, which I'll show you that. Um, then it comes with the main hive with 10 racks uh, already preset. Um, it comes with this board up here, which is the separator and the little doorway and the lid. Okay, now right here, you can see here's the main hive body. Now what I like to do is I like to paint all exposed surfaces that can get weather. That's to include this rim here, even though there's a box going to go on it. I always print, I'm sorry, paint uh, these there's little doorways, you can see they're cut a couple of different ways. So that way would be a, a medium entrance. That way would be a small entrance. And then you take it out and you've got a large entrance. So that's how that goes. And I paint those too. Okay, so there is the uh, base. Like I said, this just comes off so air can get in there. Uh, paint the tops, the bottoms. Um, I wouldn't paint here, but I would paint back into here a good distance. Because I noticed that it does get water in there because the hive only sits back about that far. Okay. So just take, I'm taking a peek at it. That's it. Um, I'll put the price on the, uh, on the video when I do it. Uh, so that's that piece there. Okay. This is my, my main brood box. This is your lower hive. This is what you're going to start with. I like to use a bigger box on the bottom so they get more brood, more eggs, and all that kind of stuff. Now, you can see that this doorway or this porch area does overhang. I told you you're going to want to paint back into here a little ways. That's why you paint them all separately, fully disassembled. They're really nice. They've got handles all the way around. See? All the way around all, on all sides. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up putting a little metal strap right here that kind of goes from here with one screw and goes down because you don't want to go up because I won't be able to get my lid on. But if I do another one of these big boxes on here, I can go from here and go down. Therefore, they don't tip over if something bumps them. I'm going to do them on all four sides. Uh, but you can see that fits real good right there. It's a little over. This one right here, the seam right there. When you put your, box, your boxes on, you want to get them as tight as possible. Okay. We've got tons of little instructions on how to set it up. It goes into how you want to set it on bricks that kind of stuff now this is your initial cover with your mini door now when the lid goes on here you won't be able to see this this little door okay this is a door to the top uh, so they can go in and out now later on we'll put a separator on here to it'll just be a screen so only the smaller bees can get up above uh, to make the honey so it keeps the queen in here whenever you have a queen you want to have her wings clipped so she can't fly off okay now when you move this piece here here are all of there's all your racks okay so uh, they're they're kind of a plasticky waxy feel um, they're they're really nicely constructed they do pop out uh, you can pop them out if you need to you can see they're cut shape they fit really well um, what I really like about this box is this right here is metal that's a metal shelf that these things are sitting on Okay, and you can see the light down and below. Now, one of the things that Amazon showed me, she's really the bee expert, not me, is that when she sets up her hives, especially this section here, once it's all painted and done, she staggers them. She only puts eight, eight of them in there. That gives more room between the racks. If you have them in really tight, they're not, they're not as efficient. They've already got a comb started. Let them extend that comb another third. It's more efficient than starting another comb. Okay, I don't paint the racks at all. I pull them out, put them in a box, get them out of the way, and I do my painting. Okay, so I'm going to kick these off to the side. I'm going to put this lid back on. Okay, now I will show you what it looks like. I'm going to have to move it out a little bit. Show you what it looks like with the actual lid on. Okay, this is the lid. Um, you can see it's, they've done it really nice. The other one I had, had a little bit of sap in it, but that was fine. And it's going to go right on top, and this doorway will be accessible from the front because there's a little bit of overhang. Now, I'm going to flip this up here. It will actually sit, the lid will actually sit in it. 
the upper section of the hive. Let me go to that. Okay, now the lid is on. You can see I just lift it up. This is what you would do if you're going to start inspecting stuff. This shelf right here is actually where we put our uh, our pheromone. If we're trying to get a swarm, if we put a swarming agent in, this is where we put it. This is also where we would put our pollen patties and that kind of stuff. Now you can see the little doorway right there. This just fits over there. This does have some play forward and backward, very little left or right. So if you look in here, you can see how they can get in there. Okay, they just go right on up here and they're in. And that's usually the preferred way. Um, so that's it. Now this does come with a plastic cover on it. This thing is actually stainless. Uh, you can see right here, it's torn a little bit, no big deal. I'm going to pull it off anyway, but I pull that off after I paint. So let me get to painting. And this will take me a little while today and probably a little while tomorrow. But once it's all done, we'll get this thing out and see if we can get the new bees that we found on the property into the hive. Okay? Thanks.